girl can cook She got the recipe, she got what you need Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today we are making stuffed chicken breast and honey we are stuffing it with cream cheese, sharp cheddar cheese and broccoli and guess what the best part is that it is actually keto, <laughs> a little low carb there alright so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off with eight ounces of cream cheese. And guess what? We want this to be softened, okay? Soften the room temperature, because if it's not, honey, we are gonna have a hard time trying to mix this, okay? But to that cream cheese, you wanna add a half cup of shredded cheese. I'm using sharp cheddar. You can use whatever kind of cheese you like, mozzarella, Monterey Jack, any kind, doesn't matter. All right, and to that, we're gonna also add a cup of broccoli. This broccoli is not steamed. It's not cooked, it is completely raw, and we wanna add it in just like that so it cooks within the oven. Okay, so now, let's season this up. We're gonna use about a fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, as well as a fourth teaspoon of onion powder, and some black pepper, okay? A fourth teaspoon, that's all we need for this. All right, so now that we have that seasoned up, we wanna combine all of this. We don't want too much garlic powder on the top and not the bottom, you know, we gotta mix it up. But look, like I said, you wanna make sure that that cheese is softened because look at how much of a hard time I'm having. I had to pop this bad boy in the microwave for about a minute or two because it was just ridiculous. I was trying to rush, trying to get this video out to you guys, but look, that's okay, we got it together. Just make sure it's room temperature, okay? So I'm gonna lay down some foil here because I just don't like putting meat on my cutting board. I know, don't judge me. That's just how I like to do. And it's an easy cleanup, can't beat that. But we're gonna lay out our chicken breast. These are full-size chicken breasts, they're not cut in half. And we're just gonna make a small slit here on the side of the chicken breast. You just go in with your knife. You don't wanna cut it all the way to the back because you do want it to stay closed. But you're just gonna cut a slit in there. And it's okay if you mess up a little bit. You just kinda wanna butterfly this out so that we can stuff this chicken breast. You're gonna do it for all of the chicken breasts that you're using. And then you're gonna douse them in a little bit of olive oil so that our seasonings will stick to this and we get nice color in the oven and when we sear it. Okay, so now we're going to open this chicken breast. If you want to season the inside, it is totally optional. I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit of onion powder and season salt inside. I will show you guys the seasonings that I'm using after, but that part is totally optional. However, get you a spoonful of the cheese mixture and just stuff it into the chicken breast. Stuff it in there, all right? But you wanna be careful. You don't wanna rip this. It will tear. And look, the cheese is soft. You can manipulate and mold this cheese into whatever shape you want it to. So don't be too concerned. If you wanna stuff it to high heaven, honey, go ahead. But look, we're just gonna take our hands, the best kitchen tools there are, and just stuff that in there. Look, just stuff it and close it right down. It will close, I promise. All right, so we have our chicken breast stuffed and now it's time to season it up. So we're gonna use just a little bit of seasoned salt. You can use regular salt as well, but I'm using seasoned salt here. And we're also gonna use some garlic powder. All of these seasonings are to taste, okay? So there's no measurements on this. Whatever measurements you wanna use is totally fine. And we're also gonna use paprika for coloring. <laughs> Now my paprika actually got a little taste. It tastes like something smoked because it is, all right? But we're using paprika as well as black pepper. All of these are to taste once again. And I actually have this black pepper on the coarse setting. So you know we can get a little bit of that pepper aesthetic because that's what we want and need, all right? And I'm gonna take some of these toothpicks here. Now look, you don't have to use toothpicks. Don't go looking for toothpicks if you don't have any. It will stay closed, but because I want to make my life easy and I don't want this to fall apart when I when I begin to sear it, I'm going to use two picks, okay? I would recommend that you do so, but it's not required. And you just take them and you stick them in just to keep that chicken breast closed so it doesn't fall apart. 
And honey, don't forget to season the other side. Now look, we're not just eating one side, we're eating both. So make sure you take your seasonings and you season the other side just like you did the front side, okay? If you don't want to do as much, that's fine too. But just make sure you run a little bit of that salt on there. Because we don't like bland food, alright? And that's it. Look at that. That's it. All right, so y'all should know by now that all good things start off with a little bit of butter and oil. So let's add a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil so we can steer these chicken breasts up, honey. And we're gonna let that melt over a medium high heat in a hot skillet, all right? And now we're gonna add in our chicken breasts. And we're gonna sear this chicken breast on all sides. Now look, the two picks are gonna kind of give you a little bit of problem, that's okay. You may not be able to hit the surface on all sides. However, don't worry, because we're finishing this in the oven, okay? So sear what you can. You're not trying to cook the chicken breast all the way through. If you want a shorter cook time, you can definitely leave it on the stove a little bit longer. But we just wanna sear it just to lock in some flavor and to lock in some color. All right, so sear it on all sides carefully. Use some tongs to try to help you maneuver around this pan. And then we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, so right here, I'm just adding a little bit of liquid in. I'm using chicken broth. If you don't have chicken broth, you can definitely use water. This is not more so for flavor, but it is for moisture. We wanna add just a little bit of moisture to this skillet, okay, while we're putting it in the oven. And we're gonna bake it at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now, if you're using a really big old chicken breast, then look, you may wanna adjust your cooking time, okay? Make sure your chicken gets cooked to 165 degrees Fahrenheit internally. That is the safest consumption for chicken and poultry, all right? So make sure it is cooked properly. If you are nervous about your chicken breast, get you a digital thermometer or an instant read thermometer, some type of cooking thermometer, and check it yourself, okay? Don't, don't be out here eating raw chicken, okay? But it will cook all the way through if you cook this properly. All right, so let's plate. And that is it, you guys. Take a look at this beautiful stuffed chicken breast. Look at that. All the cream cheese and the gooey sharp cheddar cheese and that nice crisp texture on the top with all those flavors galore, honey. It is good. <laughs> it was really good. But if you like toast and tolerant, you might wanna stay away, all right? But that's okay, you can enjoy it too in moderation, all right? And you guys, I wanna thank you all for watching. Thank you guys for being here on my channel. If you like this recipe and you found it easy to follow, let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to share it with a friend. And I'll see y'all next time in the next video.